So what was that? Well, we were just playing a G and an A, okay? So earlier on, we posted a video about sounding or looking cool with just two chords. Um, and what we did was we played the two chords in two different ways. So really, we came up with sort of like a four chord progression because we played two G's and two D's, right? Um, and maybe we threw an A in there, but we used the D shape movable chord to create different texture and we combined it with our open G and our open A chord. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing today. But first, as you know, my name's Ray and I'm known as the Wired Idiot here. Um, check out some of my library. It's full of great tips and uh, philosophies for those of you just starting out, uh, picking up the guitar for the first time or coming back to the guitar, right, after one or more failed attempts to learn it just like me, right? So on my third time, I got it right. And that's the, the information that I'm sharing with you here on this channel, was what it was that actually got me playing decent guitar. So today we're gonna follow up on the looking cool thing, or the sounding cool thing. But really what it is, is just to show you that there's more ways to play our open chords, and then if we mix the two, we even get a more interesting sound. So today, we're gonna look at the A chord played here off of the F shape. Okay, remember this F shape? I call it the F slide, right? So we know with this F shape, we can move it two frets and get a G, two more frets to get an A, and even two more, we have a B, right? So we have some versatility here with this, I like, it's one of my favorite movable chords. So today we're gonna look at simply the A, playing it with the open G, okay? And what we can come up with by doing that. So we can start anywhere, but I'm gonna start right here on the A. Any strumming pattern you wanna use is great. How easy was that, all right? So what we did, again, was we used the movable F chord to play our G and our A, okay? Now, when you're quick changing from the open chord up here, right? Keep in mind, as a guide, use your dots and put your first and ring finger on the dots, the frets that have the dots, and that's where you need to be, all right? Just a little tip. So, once again, I'll use a different chord for a uh, uh, strumming pattern. Let's go all downs. Add a little something different to it. A little palm muting as well. So all I'm doing here, right, is going sliding G to A. That's all I'm doing, right? So. Now when I'm strumming, I'm actually trying to hit the fourth string, the D string. And I'm really just concentrating, I mean the odd time I'm going right through the strings, but I'm really just playing almost like a power chord. I'm only playing this D and G string, really. Now if I play those strings here, number one and two, that's cool, 
it'll sound okay. But I'm really focusing with this kind of strumming. It's when you strum like this, you're after a certain sound, right? So that chunky, clunky. That's a GA slide using that F shape. Okay, we can do all kinds of things with this. So if we change up. up the strumming a little bit. Throw in the open chords. There, how hard was that? Okay, so we essentially use two chords, G and A, but we use them two different ways. So it gave us a four chord progression, right? So give it a try. Um, it's a great practice routine, okay? And me personally, when I, I kind of started noodling around with this F going up and down, it led to a song for me, uh, an intro to a song that I started, and I'm just going to play it for you just to show you how powerful um, playing around like this outside your zone can be. And that's what it was for me. I had never done this before. And then I, I, I learned it, I found out about it. And then way later, I thought, oh yeah, remember, that's a nice thing here. And I started just noodling with this A, okay? And this is what it led to. progression for a song I wrote. So basically, that was the lead-in, the intro to the song, and the first verse. So, like, you never know where you're going to find these things and what you're going to find, unless you go outside of your box and start moving around a little bit, okay? All right, so I hope you found this a little useful. I hope it makes you sound and feel cool and it definitely will because once you get that down not only is it just great exercise to build on your guitar foundation but it sounds really cool too all right all right happy practicing if you like what you heard you think i can help you moving forward absolutely hit this subscribe button wherever it is and uh, watch for my new videos. Right now I'm posting pretty much every other day, uh, sometimes more. And uh, check out my back catalog. And I'm sure there's all kinds of cool little things for you there. So see you soon and happy practicing.